Hello everyone, this is Magnum. Hi. I'm here with Dark Templar, Vahilo, Teku, and Golgotha, and we are Initiative Zero, and we're going to play some more Second City Chronicle, our first story of Mice and Men. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you've subscribed recently, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Our channel's growing slowly, but it's growing, and uh, yeah, we just really appreciate you guys subscribing and being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not consider doing that? Just hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's a bell there to be notified when new episodes come out. Uh, we hope you enjoy. Uh, feel free to comment down below, but you can always stop in at our Discord as well and check us out. Info's down below. Um, with that, though, uh, how's everybody doing here? How are we doing, DT, Vahilo, Teku, and Golgotha? Uh, I uh, recently uh, got to meet up with one of our uh, Initiative Zero celebrities. Oh. <laughs> and uh, he was so good looking i was absolutely like just starstruck i, I agree i agree that i'm good looking that's yeah mm -hmm. absolutely he didn't really talk me very much he didn't even introduce me to his other friend but um <laughs> that's, really... because I'm that's because i'm a blithering idiot who does is socially awkward yeah and uh so yeah i had uh, a good time sitting behind this celebrity and uh, <laughs> seeking a few pictures here and there um as well so in my bald head God, it's beautiful, though. <laughs> Did he polish it up nicely? It really was polished. If you take a look at the it's pictures, it's ridiculously not not see the it's, picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good picture. <laughs> but no, it was, uh, it was good. Lens awesome. flare manifest. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, uh, you guys are all at the library. We've got uh, Elliot and Karen down in the werewolf section. We've got Vinny keeping a close eye on them, probably just at the end of the stack. Christopher and Grayson acting both nonchalant and chalant, respectively. Um, the blonde guy, Mason, he's waiting out kind of in the front area of the library, just sitting at a table. And uh, Jim and the clerk are behind the desk. Uh, Jim having previously taken the book back in a Ziploc and kind of put it back for safekeeping. And, um, yeah, how about we open up with Christopher and Grayson? Oh, I also want to add, by the oh, way, I sure. had told the person at the receptionist or whoever that was at the desk that to have Jim meet me at the uh, werewolf section. That's right. That's right. Cool. So, Christopher and Grayson. Okay, um, walking over, I may have tripped over some books on the ground and, and may have accidentally, um, you know, knocked somebody's papers off and am trying to look very, uh, uh, you know, casual while doing it. Okay, so you're just kind of fumbling with books and or magazines. Yeah, because, or... I mean, yeah, they drop down and like, oh, put it up and back and then like, I just, I just picture them like accident, like walking over and then kind of leaning on something nonchalantly and then like knocking over a pile of books very loudly and people going shh all right all right um, it seems given my how badly i rolled i think that's an appropriate response yeah yeah now you just you just failed it wasn't dramatic but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make it more dramatic uh, if you want, you can take a dramatic failure. I mean, it's the last roll we made. We haven't really done anything since then. You could take a dramatic failure on that and get a beat. Done. I'll I'll do it because, I mean, I, I, I want the comic value of it. Okay. It starts with you knocking a book over and ends with you causing a car accident up front. <laughs> That's right. The butterfly effect. <laughs> that'd just, yeah. That'd be pretty dramatic then. <laughs> the most Big uncoordinated stupid. butterfly ever. The Japan is the end result. <laughs> All right, so so Grayson creates a tsunami, and uh, so um, to watch that unfold. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say that uh, if this is a dramatic failure, then mm -hmm. not not only um, do you draw attention to yourself, you also draw attention to Christopher, who's nearby. But um, the mm -hmm. the book that you uh, that you knock over, it it slides so far across the floor you'd figure that it was waxed and greased and it ends up um, colliding uh, with uh, with Vinny into his foot. Oh. oh, that's good. I like that. Vinny, a and book just hits you and you, you hear the of catastrophe going on nearby. King of first impressions. I want to uh, just pick up the book because you said it hit my foot, so just bend over and pick it up and then uh, just kind of slowly 
return to where it came from. Yeah, you see one guy fumbling, trying to pick up a stack of <laughs> contents that he's knocked over, um, steadying the shelf that he almost knocked over as well. There's a taller guy beside him that looks thoroughly unimpressed. Are are you are you doing okay? Uh uh yeah no so, sorry I I I I knocked over this like do you need do you need to go home do you need a doctor what's going on man <laughs> can't stand up straight <laughs> i'm fine i just knocked over a pile of books sorry i'm also kind of chuckling again <laughs> so i i want to turn to uh christopher and just say uh you're you with him and I'll, I'll slowly look and yeah, I think he's uh, he's having a moment. Sorry about the uh, the book to the foot. I, and I'll hold my hand out to take it back from him. I didn't realize it was such precarious. I I want to I want to I want to take the book and just press it against J, uh, Grayson's chest. All right. And and as I do so, I just kind of want to look him in the eye and just say that. Don't pull that shit again. Figure your shit out. Fine. And I just want to turn 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 back around. Cool. Look drop next to you. Alright. So fine. whatever. I need you to um roll resolve plus composure there, Grayson. Resolve plus composure. Okay. The spiral begins. Yeah, probably. Resolve plus composure. All right. Shoot. Resolve. Oh, that's a fail. Oh, 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 oh. oh beautiful. Yeah. Oh, actually, I still get one more nice. die, even. Sorry. I'm sorry, you got how many successes? Seven, and I get one more. What are you possessed by? Uh, I got eight successes. Um, so, yeah. Um, you are urged. You have a very strong urge This when he pushes that into your chest to, to just intimidate the hell out of this guy. Just lose your mind. Get him so afraid of you that um that he will no longer uh, that you basically have the the kind of intimidation upper hand here if you give into oh. this urge you get a beat for everyone at home Golgi oh. might get loud <laughs> yeah uh, you may want to turn her... down your volume everybody yeah. yeah 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 actually i'm going to resist this urge okay you're going to choose to not give in to the urge. Okay. It's a pretty oh, strong urge. Uh, Cause I got, I, I got an exceptional success. Yes. So I saw that. I'm going to say that if you want to resist, it's going to cost you a will PowerPoint. Fine. Or we can roll initiative right here in the library. <laughs> Just throw <laughs> down. Eh? I forgot <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> gloves off just just throw down okay so i've given up a little powerpoint then right you gotta drag it out right yeah i'm trying to okay there you go oh man that sucks yeah it was a really strong urge but um he's pushing that there and what i'd like you to do then Vinny, are you trying to intimidate him yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm trying to just be like, don't fuck with me. Yeah, so presence plus intimidate resisted um, by Grayson's uh, composure. What's okay. your composure there, Grayson? Uh, my composure is three. Okay. Uh, so resisted by his composure, is he rolling against me or is that a penalty to me? That's just a penalty to you. Let's see if three. Yeah. 
All right. So he is not intimidated by you. I'm in um, He's in yeah. Dr. Morgan. I'd hold, hold it, hold it together. So I'm just going to look at him. Yeah, sure. And I turn away and I walk away from him. What about the book? Do you just let it drop? I'm assuming he's pushing it against your chest. Yeah, I let it drop. Okay, cool. Well, I just want to turn and kind of keep my, my watch on Elliot and uh, Karen. All so right. I'm just going to kind of, you know, think to myself like this fucking guy. And then I'll just turn back around. Cool. Christopher, anything on your end? Well, I uh, would be rather impressed by this, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, the priority here is trying to keep an eye on, you know, the kid matching the description of the one that turned the book in. So I'd be sort of playing tennis, looking back and forth between the two. Cool. Um, I'm just going to suggest you're not penalized or anything like that. Um, however, um, right, anything more emotionally intense than a raised voice makes you kind of flinch and back down. Oh, yes. So, so it, it happened I'm, in your proximity. Uh, you weren't confronted, but you're probably not the most comfortable at the moment. No, at this yeah. point, I'm, I'm jumpy on the one side and excited on the other. So it's just like a glass case of emotions for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when the confrontation was starting to build, it was like, oh, oh yeah, I was yeah. I was looking at my pools going, well, this is going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Um, uh, just wondering, Elliot, are you and Karen doing anything or just hanging out waiting for Jim? Do I hear the commotion between these? Oh, yeah. People? Yeah, you totally hear that. It's like not far from you at all. Okay. So um, when they're distracted... Do I kind of like slip out so they don't see me afterwards and they can't catch me? Like, don't know where I went? Or do they like take their eyes off me? I kind of like seize the opportunity, like quickly went where I need to go and they didn't know where I was. Are you taking Karen with you? Yes. Yeah, you would do a, I would say you're probably going to go for a wits plus stealth. And Karen will also go for a wits plus stealth here. Wits it's going to plus it's going to be contested by wits plus um, uh, alertness for well for Christopher anyway, but penalized. I'm gonna I'm gonna penalize it by his broken penalty here. Yes, yeah, so that's a two, right? Which is by two. Yeah, even though it says for social roles, this one would it would apply yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, no, it it it, it fits. So wits and composure, you said. That's right. Wits plus composure. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, wits plus composure. That's right. I thought it was wits plus... Wits plus stealth for you. For them, it's wits plus composure. Oh, okay. That's your, what you guys are rolling against. Are you any bonuses from their distractedness? No, I'm getting negatives. Yeah, you don't get bonuses. They get penalties. Mm. I have no idea what I got. You got three successes. Now I do have trained observer. Yeah. It's tiny details and digging for secrets. Uh, you might not have a better chance at finding important things. Anytime oh, you make a, a perception roll, you do it with nine again quality. So you got yeah, got you got nine again. Okay. Nine again, but minus two. Yeah. Penalty's still there, but you do get the dice trick. So just make sure you choose nine again. And again, minus two. Womp womp. Yeah, so. Cool. Um, you look back, and they are gone. Hey, Oof. Pickle. Um, I don't know that I would take a step exactly in the direction that he was in. Uh, given where we are, are there any obvious exits? Um, there are other doors out of the library, um, where you are the most likely, if they moved, the most likely thing would be down the stack to the other end of the stack somewhere. 
you could kind of go around and see what's on the other side, right? You wouldn't have to approach Vinny if he didn't want to. Well, I'm kind of just trying to survey the scene because, I mean, we saw Vinny following behind Elliot. So, I mean, there's a fair link between the two here. So if he starts looking around like, oh God, where'd he go? Then that creates an even more interesting situation. Yeah, I suppose, uh, Vinny, give me a give me a check too. Your penalty will be. Uh, I'm gonna penalize you by the same modifier uh, as before, so minus three, because you were you were being opposed by his resolve. So just a wits well, plus composure. Wits composure. Yeah, minus three. Okay, so you happen to just uh, notice. Karen, she only had one success. He didn't notice Elliot at all, but uh, Karen, he just happened to notice her duck around um, the shelves. Elliot's gone. Oh. You don't know where he went. Yeah. So this uh, this aggressive dude doesn't look overly bothered by the fact that they're gone. Yeah. I don't know, Vinny. What's your reaction? Um, I want to take a couple steps down the, uh, down the aisle way. Like down the, the row of books. Yeah, like I'm look down the next stack, the you mean, sort of thing? Or, or actually follow well, just, the direction they went? Just follow the direction they went. Okay, cool. So, I mean, he is taking action. Though. What is... Yeah. All right, well, that's a start. Uh, what's, uh, I'll look over at Grayson and see where he's at, aside from having the crazy eyes and the bulging neck vein, because he's holding it all together. Well, Grayson, how are we doing? He's, I'm stewing a little bit, but I'm, I'm beginning to get back together. Um, I'm going to look to see if I can, like, you know, remembering what we're here for, I'm going to look to see, uh, look to where I saw the, the boy and the girl. And I'll just kind of calmly hold my hand out, like, just... Just relax for a second. Just hang on. And I'll do an eyebrow at the back of Vinny as he's walking away. The, the subtle male head nod of, hey. I got a nod in, in recognition of what he's saying. Well, I have no idea what you're saying now. You've lost me. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> You've lost me. I have no idea what you're saying. I, I said I, I nodded in recognition. I... Like <laughs> He was nodding to Vinny, though, right? Like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I thought you were nodding to no, me. No, I was, I was, no, I was nodding to you, but indicating I'm, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's nodding to me, indicating that Vinny was an issue, right? And 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 I kind of nod in recognition of what he was saying. Honestly, if we had to do one of these things in real life, I would be entirely no different, and nothing would get done. So it probably does. <laughs> we don't do this. This is probably just a good in thing. our spare time. Needlessly disruptive. Um. <laughs> So at this point, I mean, I'm going to separate from Grayson, who is just the pinnacle of stealth and execution. Although a bastion of self-control, apparently. And um, kind of make it look like I'm much more interested in approaching the shelves, looking in werewolves. Okay, well, all right, sure. Let's uh, let's read no, about that. It's not quite where just werewolves. Like it's it's their kind of. No, I feel like I feel like it's been pretty the clear. Whole werewolves. That's like yeah. two two sessions two, of werewolves. Two I shell guess. two two yeah. two bookcases of werewolves. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Just chock full of every book you can think of on werewolves. Yeah, yeah. werewolves, were rabbits, were ducks, werewolves. Yeah, right. Really great Ace Ventura episode. If anyone's going to pick up on that reference. <laughs> cool. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to go to the other side of the library, because I probably noticed that the, the boy and the girl aren't there anymore, right? Yeah, they're gone from your vision. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to wander to the other side of the museum, see if, uh, not me, sorry, the museum library to see if they're on that side. Okay, so you start wandering around. Um, Vinny, what did you want to do? You wanted to head down that that row, that stack. Uh, I, I, I want to head down to actually like where I saw Karen and um, I guess Elliot and Elliot, who these people are that are basically following them through the library. 
All right, Elliot, where did you, you end know, up why, going? Why is he here? Sorry? Where did you end up going? So we kind of zipped past the uh, the wear issue because, you know, the wear issue. And ended up in, like, I don't know, we'll say a geography, like, kind of section on, like, cool-ass maps of, like, the ancient world or some shit. I was shit. hoping it was going to be, like, architecture, like, houses, so I could catch up with you in the warehouses section. No, that's not that one. Um, so, yeah. I went there with Karen. Okay. So, just do another section, basically. Another set of stacks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay, stay there and observe who is watching me. Okay. Essentially. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah. So, um, in this case, uh, give me a stamina plus stealth check. You're kind of trying Karen, to stay still ask, and quiet. Yeah. I also want to ask Karen, do these guys look like people that would be looking for you as well? If you know what I mean? She whispers, I, I, I really don't know who they are at all. I've never Sorry, seen them before. Who's chasing stamina. you? Stamina plus who? Stamina plus what? Sorry? Uh, plus stealth. You're just trying to stay quiet and, and still, right? Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. yeah. Sorry, you lost me. Who's Who's chasing you at this point? You. Because at this point, Grayson dropped a book at Vinny. Vinny exploded. Grayson almost exploded. And then we went kind of in different directions. I don't yes, know that we're ch chasing you at all. You guys were, but you're following me. You we were trying to be stealthy. You oh, that's right. You weren't classic. successful in covering right, your right, motives. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, you were successful. I no, was not. But you, your yeah. lack of success dragged him with you because of your dramatic yeah, failure. Exactly. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That that was the one part that I that was from last week. Okay. Yeah. All good. All right. Anyways, and yeah. she's going to to roll as well to stay put. And so she's not so so hot at it. So guys, uh, if you're searching for them, uh, you only have to <laughs> you'll find Karen without much effort if you succeed at all. You just have to be one success to find Elliot. What do we have to roll? Um, if you're looking around for them, it would be yeah. uh, wits plus something like. Um, well, you could use your wits plus uh, composure if you can think of another applicable skill that you would have for finding people in a library, but <laughs> probably wits plus composure or wits plus investigation would actually work. Actually, that'd probably be more correct. You're not trying to notice yeah. something. You're trying to yeah. purposefully wits look for something. Yeah. They're gonna, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, Golgotha, you said Elliot was going to the other side of the library, so... Well, I was going to the other side of the library, so I don't think that's where they are. No, but I, but I can't, I can't can turn my head around. I mean, my head's on swivel, right? There's well, a, there's a chance he might notice them, right? Yeah. They didn't they didn't yeah, roll so very high, so yeah. I mean, I could take a negative if you think that it would be out of the way. Uh, I don't I don't really think so. You're you're moving further into the library, so <laughs> they could only go so far in the amount of time that you know. Oh, but it doesn't well, really matter anyway. Way. You decided yeah. to look the other way. Vinny, give yeah. us a roll as well. You're trying to tr uh, move after them, right? Hey, which composure? Do I get a bonus because I actually saw where Karen went? Um. Yeah, I'd give you a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. problem. So you and Christopher kind of, um, Christopher. I know you're trying to avoid Vinny, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of like he took the high road, you took the low road, and you both end up <laughs> in right, the same place anyway. Yeah. Right where they are. Like you're at the other side of the book stack that, that Elliot and Karen are at, and Vinny's kind of right in front of them. Two for two. And <laughs> Grayson is just, <laughs> he's trying to find another stack of he's books to knock court. over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Food court All right. Library. So there you are. Um, so Vinny, you, uh, well, Elliot, Vinny pops up right in front of you, basically. And uh, then you look past them, Vinny, and you see Grayson at the other end of the stack. So I just want to, I just want to say to Elliot, um, Elliot, who are these guys that are uh, kind of checking you out here? I don't know. They seem weird. I don't think the same kind of people that were kind of chasing us 
earlier, if you recall, when you first met me. We're trying to yeah, figure like, out. What's, what's, what's your business here at the library? Like, I have got money stash and a book? I wish, man. No, okay. I have a stuff. You guys are just at the other end of a book stack, right? So Grayson probably, can, or sorry, Christopher can probably hear what you're saying, just so you know. Yeah. Like, even if you're keeping uh, your voices just, down, there's the a chance you can hear. That's perfect. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just here to get a book, my book back. That's all. Can I, uh, and we all got this that, weird, we got this at that moment. Vibe. Can I just sort of say, excuse me, I'm, I think we're here for the same sort of issue, and I'll, sort of hold up my library ID and be like, were you, were you the kid that found the book? Like, you're not, dude, you're not in trouble. I, oh, I know I'm not in trouble. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I'm not looking to give anybody a hassle. I've just, I'm with the library and I just, I'm looking to figure out how this happened because. How, what happened? How you got that book because it, it got taken from our archives. Well, I can. I have no idea what an archive is. Number one, and I've never been to any of your archives. This is like the second time I'm not library. I'm, I'm not accusing you. I just, I just kind of want to know how you got it. It came to me, and then I have it. And I thought so, it was really cool, and it was worth a lot of money. So I wanted to see, you know, whether it was worth some money. Like, don't worry, Vinny, there's no money in it. Um, but uh, that's I was hoping that it would be worth something. That's all. And all and kind then of. Was, and then I was told by uh, someone here that I should come pick up this book. So I'm here to pick up this book, but everyone's acting so weird here. Like, I'm not used to having people follow me in a library. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to follow you. I came here because I got a message from this library that the book was found. By what? By some kid? How did you know it was me? I just spoke to Jim, and in talking to him, he described you. I just put two and two together. Again, I'm not looking to follow you beyond this point. I'm just looking for a little bit of information to piece together what in the hell has happened to this book. I don't know what's happening with this book. I haven't got it back yet. It should be in a Ziploc bag somewhere. Yeah, I was just looking at it. It's, it's full of crazy bullshit symbols, right? Um, like leather, leather cover, nothing remarkable about it. Well, it's pretty remarkable. No, I mean, aside from, aside from the script making no sense, like the guy that's the, the spaz that you just met and I'll sort of gesture to Vinny. He's, he's a language expert. He's a, he's a history buff. I'm mm -hmm. just with the library. So don't, don't let him rub you the wrong way. It's just, oh, he's yeah, got to them. The, the academic sort, you know what I mean? All right, I'm just going to interrupt for one sec. Grayson, I'm going to say you've, you're you just wandering around. You can hear Christopher talking, um, right, if you want to home in on him or unless you want to do oh, yeah. something else. No, no, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll hear him, and he's obviously talking to somebody, and I'm going to think, is he, did he find them? So, I'll, yeah, I'll wander that way. Okay, we'll just have you come in so, behind him down the stack then. So, so just as uh, Christopher kind of finishes talking about, you know, all these people interested in this book and all that kind of stuff, I just want to say, well, you know, it was it was Elliot's book here. So I think if, uh, you know, if you guys just go and get that book, give it back to Elliot, we'll be out of your hair and, uh, and we won't have to worry about this anymore. I want to give you a warning before we go there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not the only library that was interested and... They sent somebody, uh, I've never met a librarian like him. And even he, well, why, why, why are you calling up all these other libraries for Elliot's book? Yeah. Because it went missing. So there's already an investigation. The cops are already involved. Let me, let me tell you. Oh, here. The and cops are involved. What the fuck, calm man? Calm down. No, 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 that's not cool, dude. I'm going to grip they, uh, Karen's they, hand there. No, that's not fucking cool, man. They yeah, don't know and she's just you. been standing there looking back and forth between people that are talking. Like, she's just quiet, looking up at you guys, really kind of worried that things are going to go you. down. They just know that the book is missing from our library. This other library is saying it went missing from them years ago. So this thing has a real 
left and right sort of pass. Okay. okay. Clearly, uh -huh. you've not been stealing this book across the last 40 years, given that you're like, I don't know, 15, 14. Yeah, but this still puts me pretty much in the crosshairs that it's mine. All right. And then if they so, know, if, they, if someone has a description of who I am, then like. That's I'm, Jim. I'm an Jim is not Jim is not involved in the police investigation. I am, and I'm not too interested in bringing you into it either, because frankly, you're just a kid. And the police this, investigation is only the book is only peripheral in some ways. It actually relates to. Oh, fuck are you, man? Where'd you come I've from? Been, I've been standing up, there for a while. He walked up behind he me. Saw me. Like, yeah. You said that. Oh, I thought it was no. behind me. Sorry. No. no. God. No, he's talking behind Christopher. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to cause any issues. No, I said I, I'm going to say like uh, the book isn't even really issues. Come on, investigate. it's peripheral. The book is peripheral to uh, well, another. Oh, yeah, all right, stop, stop, stop. I have no idea what the fuck you're saying, man. <laughs> Speak regular <laughs> language, and I'll kind of say the book, the book is a clue, potentially a clue for a missing person investigation. A missing person who's, investigation. Who's, Who's so the missing this, person? This, this ancient book that got stolen it's, and now came to me is part of evidence towards someone who's missing. And you guys know what I look like, and this is not putting me in the crosshairs? No. And the police know about this shit? No, they don't. They're looking for the book. They're not looking for you. Listen. Someone's going to piece that together. Don't you think? Would you, I, would you I, like? I, to, I, I, I kind of want to step in front of Elliot and just kind of put my arm across his chest, and and just say to this uh, this guy with the glasses, who's who's the missing person here? I, you might not know who it is. It's a it's a really important who's, figure. Who's who's, who's the can missing? You, person? Let me actually finish just, the just sentence. Don't cut the crap. Who's the missing person? As I was about to say before you interrupted, it's a it's a person who's in the very important person in the Chinese community. Who though? Is it Albert? Is it Albert? Yes. You know Albert. What, so, you, so, so what? Because he's an important person, you don't think I know who he is? But why are you getting defensive? I just explained who it was. Yeah. Well, you're you're beating around the bush. I'm, like you think I'm, like, I'm I, whatever, and I don't know important I'm quite people. I'm literally this city. telling you everything I know. I don't know why you're getting defensive. Holy fuck. I'm gonna start. Oh, you're you're throwing books around earlier, and and now you're at this. Coming I was gonna here. say, at this uh, point, I, I uh, you kind of hear somebody behind you just kind of go, Ahem. and there is Jim, who again himself Jim. is oh, a rather man, Jim. a rather good uh, in, in shape guy, shorter, stockier, kind of same sort of build as Vinny, um, much more mild, <laughs> but um, he uh, he says you you guys know you're in a library, right? And he's holding in both hands the book still in the uh, the uh, Ziploc. Jim. I want to turn to Elliot and say, that, that your book? That's my book. And that's Jim. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Hi. Um, Jim. I didn't realize you were bringing all your friends, Elliot. Dude, uh, I don't even know these two. Jim, I'm you said you've contacted the police. Jim, you what? Listen. And he goes to hand the book to, like, he holds the book to Elliot. I need you guys to get out of here and hide this book. That guy in the leather coat, he's not, um, he's not good news. And I'll look and say, that's the guy I was telling you about. Yeah, the dangerous guy. The guy looks like Dolph Lundgren. What? You guys didn't... What? What is going on? Why did you... Hey, why did you so, say this? So, Elliot, Elliot has the book. I want to turn and just say, you know where I'm parked. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If you go that way, you're going to pass the guy. Let us help you get out of here. There's oh, a just walk, the, around, walk around the outside whoa, of the library, whoa, whoa, whoa. Elliot. What's in it for you for helping us? Let, let, let's get this straight. You guys approached us. It's fine. Okay. They're not evil all, people. Whatever. All I, what's what's all, in it for listen, you? All we're looking for is information on Albert Quay, and it might be to you, like simple, irrelevant, whatever. Right? To you, and I'll gesture to Vinny, 
you clearly know this guy. You're you're affiliated with him somehow, so I'm sure this is news to you as well, right? But at this point, I knew him, and I'm I'm just trying to figure out what the hell happened to him because, as you know, he's very gone, and no one seems to know why. I will be happy to explain everything that not, I know about not the book. Not here. here. Not here, though. When I uh, when I get on my phone and I want to text um, some of the drivers of my garbage trucks and see if there's anybody in the area that can go to the back door of this library. Uh, you don't really operate here. Can I do that? So, well, you can tell them no? to come okay. here. You can tell them to come here. It'll take some time, but they don't. You don't operate in this part of the city. This is how, um, how much. How much time are we thinking? Probably twenty minutes. Uh, I do that on the, on the on the inside, right on the outside, it could be more depending on traffic. But yeah, but at this point, sorry, wait, like, just wait, Vinny, is that what you want to do? Notify somebody to come? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, anybody in particular, or just anybody that'll respond? Anybody that'll respond. Okay. Yeah, you start hitting those keys many many times to cycle through the letters as you do the primitive text messaging. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but at this at this point, kid, like I'm less interested in the book. You want it, fine. Right? Yeah, I can I can live with that. I'm more interested in, in what you may or may not know. And if you don't know anything, that's fine. Honestly. If you're looking for money for this thing, you're gonna have a rough go. I mean, I can try and scrounge something together for you, but Compared to what I think you might be looking for, it's it's going to be a pretty sour consolation prize. Yeah, young man, it, it's not an ancient book. It's actually relatively recent, but it is unique. That, it, that's listen. We can go through all that after. Yeah. For Why now, not just give it to this guy, Jim. Like this, and I'm pointing to the like kind of motioning with my eyeballs. That guy in the coat. Why not just give it to him then? What's the problem? No, no, he shouldn't have it. There's there's something about him that's just not it's not right. Jim, is there a way out the back? There's loads of fire exits. Um, I'll tell you if you set off an alarm, it'll have to we'll have to vacate the library. Are there's there any an, that, there's uh, an alarmed exit just over that way. To alarms? Sorry, say are there any uh, exits that are, are there any exits that are not connected to alarms? I yeah. think. Yeah. The idea, though, is that we set one that's off. If we go one way, they'll have to. They'll have to go the other way, right? Possibly. I'm. I'm just thinking we get out of here without raising any concerns. I think that'd be the best way that, to go about it. That'd work for me. Keep your keep your uh, Dolph Lundgren, you know, guy sitting in this library looking for us, and we're out of here. Then How's Elliot that? and I can walk around to the front, get in the car, and go. It works. I'll say, do you listen? If we get split up, do you do you have a number I can reach you at? Do I have a business card? Probably. I'll give him a business card, and I'll be real apprehensive take, in taking it. But at this point, I'll take. I'll give him my business card as well. Again, like we got off to a rough start here, but like you know, kind of have to put that behind us for now. I'll take Grayson's business card and just throw it in my pocket. When you, you, uh, and I'll turn to Grayson and be like, when you talk to him, was he, what was he, affable, chatty? He wasn't any different than he was before. Very, very uh, aloof um, and dismissive as well. You know, the, that the book doesn't, you know, it doesn't, he said something effective that we will never understand what's in the book. It's for a different culture. All right, well, I mean, I'll be honest, kid, you're pretty sneaky. If you can make it out the front door, you might want to, you two might want to separate because I imagine he's going to be looking for the two of you together. No, that's not going to happen. Well, oh, let's like, let's just get out of let's just get out of here now, Grayson. Or not, Grayson, Elliot. <laughs> let's get out of here now. Let's go. So, well, Jim, is, which which door do we take? Let us at least walk ahead to make sure he's not waiting. 
because he's looking for you, not us. Then which door do we take? He says you can go out that that stairwell there. That that won't activate an alarm. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Hide this. it. Hide it. Okay. I don't want to know so where you I, hide it. I'll go. I'll go first. Sorry, what let's, was that last thing you said? I don't want to know where you hide it. Okay. Yeah, I'll start moving over toward the stairwell. Okay. I'll do the same. Are you guys trying to be stealthy about it, or are you just walking? Well, given how clumsy I am, maybe I should maybe I should go out. I don't know. I was going to say maybe I should go at the front. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go ah. that way, you've got my number. You can let me know if he's up that way. Yeah. I'll walk ahead and just kind of, I don't know, yeah. take point and look for him. I'll check around corners before you do and try to make it look like I'm just moving through a library, as is my professional specialty. So but you're going to... Well, let's, let's, let's rock and roll here. Okay, you're going to go out the front then, Christopher? I'll go out the front. But Christopher Sloan is also going out the front, or is he going out the No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going toward the, uh, the okay. stairwell, but I'm going to go ahead of them, because gotcha. he shouldn't be looking for me so much. I got you. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, Elliot, Vinny, and Christopher, you're doing it stealth-like? Sure. I, yeah. I guess. Okay, wits plus stealth for the three of you. And I'll roll for Karen. Oh, this won't be good. You can spend <laughs> willpower, don't forget. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I spend well, hold on. I'm, I'm going ahead of them. Is there any bonus to me going first? Mm -hmm. A distraction. Um, well, not even a distraction, just to be able to. Work. That would that would be more on your perception. This is on your ability to look nonchalant. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. And uh, and then you can give me a wits plus um, wits plus um, composure to uh, to see what you notice as you're moving ahead. All right. Uh, can I throw the nine again at it from Observer? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. From what you can see, bit. he doesn't seem to be in the library proper, right? You can't really see out to where he is from where you are, where he was sitting, I mean, um, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, from where you are right now. So but, I'll kind uh, of turn over my shoulder and give a nod and keep moving forward. Cool. Karen, by the way, makes zero successes, which means unless it's contested and somebody gets a success, she'll be fine. But she's not, um, she's really like kind of nervous right now. She's, you know, she, and she's, she's kind of holding Elliot's hand with, with a bit of a death grip, right? All right, so um, the four of you make your way across the library to the, the stairwell. Jim kind of heads back to the front desk. Uh, Grayson, I would imagine you're walking with Jim back in that direction? Yeah. Okay, cool. And you're just heading straight out the front? I'll head out straight the front. Uh, I'll quickly, I'll briefly talk to Jim uh, before I'm leaving. Um, Jim, I'm, I'm not going to pursue this yet, but I'm, and I know we don't know each other, but I'd like to talk to you about what, what happened today at another time. Um, you have my card, right? I have your card, he says. Thank you. Um, uh, this is obviously very important. Anyways, I'll, I'll walk out the door. Or I'll go, walk, uh, go to the walk out the door. Yeah, you walk out the front. So there's just a, a bit of a kind of common area outside the, the entrance to the library. Um, and... Uh, in that common area are the tables and the, and the like, but uh, your friend in the leather jacket is not there. Okay, I'm going to walk out the doors, and as I do, like the, the out of the actual building. Yeah. And as I do, I'm going to you know use my ancient phone at that time. We you know do my text message. I'm going to text. Uh, I'm going to text Christopher just to note that he's not out front.
All right, your phone buzzes, Christopher. I'd imagine you were smart enough to put it on vibrate. Well, I, I told him, yep, that was the plan. All right. Oh boy, you guys, you guys are in the stairwell now. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll let them know what I know. Cool. Uh, how far is your How far is your vehicle? I'm parked around the front. I mean, do we want to double back and go through the front if he's not up there? Or do you want to try going this way? I say we go around the side of the building, see if he's standing out front. If he's not, then, uh, you know, if we don't see him, then we make a move for my car. I mean, I can always he I can always head out to it too, get in and move it closer to you guys. Or to closer to Elliot and Karen. Yeah. All right, well, I guess you okay, we'll... You, you okay with that, Elliot? I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's do that. I guess we'll we'll keep going then. Are we at the bottom of the stairwell or are we at the exit? Yeah, you're just about to go out the doors. Grayson, you're outside? I am. Okay. Uh, All right, I'll just quickly text back, uh, about to head out, stand by. I'll text... Do you want me to wait for you? Do you want me to meet you anywhere? Do you want me to pick you up anywhere? And I'll say, uh, yeah, grab the car. Okay, I'll grab my car. <laughs> okay. Um, and then just give that, me a I'll... wits plus composure there, Grayson. Wits plus composure. Wits plus composure. And no investigation, though. Yep. All right. So you head over to your car. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. And you start it up. And uh, it's much warmer in the car once the heat starts going, but it's not going yet. So it's still pretty, you know, below zero or below freezing for our American friends. And yep. yeah. And scanning um, and scanning. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Christopher, Vinny, Elliot, and Karen, you guys exit the building. Yeah, and I'll stick my head out first and take a look just to make sure the coast is clear. Cool. Give me wits plus composure. All right. Human periscope. Yeah. I really like how my rolls have been just garbage accepting one die at best. So nine again on there. I oh. know I still have nine again on there. Because With six I'm good dice. At, I'm good at visuals i'm just bad at dice yeah you look you glance around uh you it seems that the coast is relatively clear it, it dumps you out into a, a bit of a uh you're, you're sure that in the summer and springtime this would be a nice place to uh to hang out as a bunch of students at the university of illinois um there's you know uh, some snow covered uh tables and uh a bit of a concrete sort of um, mini kind of plaza type thing, right? Like just a, between buildings, it's a place where students could congregate uh, and sit um, and you get dumped out of a fire door. Basically, there's no way in from the outside, but uh, it will put you into this plaza, which is between some buildings. There's um, kind of an overhead connecting um connecting hallway that has windows that looks out right uh, like a you know a few uh, a story or two up that's uh, that kind of goes over top of this this oh, like uh, sky bridge yeah sky bridge that's the word i'm looking for yeah uh connecting it to the building over and um yeah this this space between the buildings is kind of built to be a nice place to sit um or congregate uh and you could follow it down under the sky bridge out to uh to the main road where you guys have parked all right well i mean not a ton of room to run if we need it but it is a relatively straight shot let's, let's go elliot right where you are all right so you, you make your way and um 
Yeah, everybody other than Christopher, give me wits plus composure check. So other than Christopher? That's right. So me too? Uh, no, you already did. Sorry, everybody that's in that space there. Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. You are uh, moving along, and um, as you uh, kind of head... Uh, Would my streetwise have come, come in, by the way? I don't know if I should have said it earlier, but would I have affected this or no? Not really. You're, I mean, you could use it instead of composure if it's higher. Does it have, give you more uh, dice? No. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you guys are moving along, and essentially from um, beside a, a, a post that's there that probably, you know, a, a light post or something, um, standing in a bit of a bit of some cover, um, out steps um, Mr. Leathercoat, um, kind of between you and the, and the direction you were going. And he looks at Elliot. I'm, did you put the book in your bag, or are you still holding it? I have it in my bag. Okay. I would have, I would have held it. I put it in my bag immediately. Okay. And, um, yeah, he. I'm just actually going to... I forgot to roll for Karen. Perhaps this will turn out differently for you. No. <laughs> and uh, says, well... I'll take that book. Sorry, you talking to me? Should I be? He says. And with that, we're going to end this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in, for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Again, if you uh, enjoy what you're hearing, you enjoy our channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Um, yeah, we're just happy to have you along. Please feel free, put a comment down below. Join us in, uh, in telling us what you think. And um, we'll see you next time. I'm Magnum Pi. I'm always here with Dark Templar, Mahilo, Teku, and Golgotha. And together we are Initiative Zero. Peace.